News tonight's chaos in the Queen City. What started as a silent vigil quickly turns violent. You're looking right now at live images from the protests erupting over the past several hours in the middle of Uptown Charlotte. What you see there is a line of police in riot gear to the right of the screen. And now we're zooming in on some of the protesters there gathered on the other side. You can see them with their cameras up raised as well as signs. A smaller crowd than in most other locations, but you can see the intense police presence there. And video from earlier tonight shows protesters clashing. So far, we know at least one person is dead, and tear gas has been deployed multiple times. The city said the person shot was shot by another civilian, not a police officer. Now, we were told earlier by the city someone was killed. In fact, that person is currently on life support right now. And they're also confirming that that person was shot by a civilian, not a police officer. Uh, also reports of the Charlotte Hornets team store at Time Warner Cable Arena has been looted. This all following the fatal officer-involved shooting of Keith Scott. Good evening, I'm Sharon Taswell. And I'm Sean Maroney. It's a night unprecedented in recent history for our state. The president has been on the phone with Charlotte Mayor Jennifer Roberts, pledging all support. We've also heard from the Department of Justice, as well as Governor Pat McCrory. And for the latest, we start with CBS North Carolina's David Hurst, who's been in the thick of this all night. David. Yeah, Sharon, Sean, we got up to a parking deck to try and get a better vantage point of what exactly is going on. If you'll look down below, you'll see, as you saw just a minute ago, uh, police in riot gear lining the streets, uh, protesters on the other side. Just moments ago, they threw a flashbang to try and disperse the crowd. They've been using tear gas as well all night. We're going to show you a little bit of video from earlier this evening. You'll see, again, police in riot gear trying to disperse the large crowd we gathered here in uptown Columbus. Protesters were throwing water bottles and other objects at the police officer. Officers. This forced officers to use tear gas to try to get people to leave the area. The video you see here was shot about an hour after police say a person was shot in this area during the protest. Uh, the city said that this person is in the hospital in critical condition, but they were shot by another civil civilian, not a police officer. The city has also confirmed at least one officer has been injured in the protest. We spoke with one protester earlier this evening. Here's what he had to say. It's complete chaos between the police and everybody out here. I mean, the police want to show resistance, but be here, but then the people out here, you know, they're wanting to fight for the cause, you know. Everybody's lives matter, but yet a guy got shot in the head up here by a beanbag, and he got knocked unconscious and laid out on the ground, and I've got pepper sprayed four times, you know, and tear gas quite a few times out here, and it's just a massive scene. I mean, it's just, it's just unreal. And Charlotte Mayor Jennifer Roberts announcing tonight that the Department of Justice is sending four people who will be on the ground in Charlotte tomorrow. Those four individuals were part of the team that went to Ferguson. The governor also announced this evening that he will be sending some state troopers to help out with the situation here in Charlotte. That's per the request of the Charlotte police officer just asking the governor for additional help as protests continue here in Charlotte. We'll continue to stay on top of this developing story. Of course, bring you the latest on air and online here in CBS North Carolina. For now, reporting live in Charlotte, David Hurst. CBS, North Carolina.